So you've logged into your cloud interface and perhaps you've created some policies, you've uh, deployed the cloud agent and applied the policies to a number of computers. And by now you know that everything that takes place within the DeepFreeze cloud platform is uh, policy based. Um, and basically what that means is any changes that are made to the workstations are done uh, based on the service as it's been configured within the policy. And just to uh, provide a little bit more clarity around this, when we create a policy, one of the first things that we specify is the heartbeat, heartbeat setting. And what that heartbeat setting defines is the, um, the uh, period of time between which workstations will check in to the DeepFreeze Cloud Platform to determine if any modifications have been made to the policy that's been applied. If we want to thaw DeepFreeze workstations, as an example, uh, in order to facilitate updates, um, that needs to take place during a scheduled maintenance period uh, within the cloud agent settings here, the general settings, or as part of the DeepFreeze service as a workstation task. If we don't have any of these tasks or, or maintenance periods uh, configured, the systems will always be in a frozen state. Well, what do we do if we need to freeze and thaw on demand? Well, what we've provided uh, within the DeepFreeze Cloud Platform is uh, a little feature called DeepFreeze On Demand. And what DeepFreeze On Demand provides us the ability to do is manage our computers that have DeepFreeze installed on them in, in real time. Uh, and what I mean by that is we can see here I've got two computers that are checking into the cloud, client 01 and client 02. If I wanted to thaw client 02, I simply check the box beside it and click the reboot thawed option. That will restart that computer into a thawed state. Uh, that's fantastic. So how do we enable deep freeze on demand in our environment? Well, if we look uh, in the submenu of Deep Freeze On Demand, we'll see an option called Cloud Relays. And if I click on that, you'll see I actually have a Cloud Relay uh, installed in my network, uh, which is why I was able to actually manage and view those workstations. Um, in order to enable Deep Freeze On Demand in your environment, you'll need to download the um, On Demand uh, Deep Freeze Cloud Relay software. This piece needs to be installed somewhere on your network that your deep freeze workstations can uh, communicate uh, with it. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily need to be on the same subnet, uh, but uh, we need to be able to route traffic from the computers to the relay and vice versa. So uh, ports uh, 7725 would need to be open and we would need to be able to communicate with that uh, relay. Once you've installed the relay uh, in the location that you want it to reside, um, you'll make note of the IP address of where it's located. And the last step in order to uh, uh, you know, enable Deep Freeze On Demand in your network will be to go back into your policy, uh, any policy that has Deep Freeze installed on it that you want to be able to manage in real time, and uh, move over to the advanced settings. And what you'll see is an on-demand cloud relay configuration option. In this IP address field or the, uh, the workstation name field, server name field, you need to specify the appropriate information. This will tell the workstations that have deep freeze enabled within its policy where the location of the cloud relay is, where to communicate with that cloud relay. So it's basically a two-step process, download and install the cloud relay, uh, make note of the location or the workstation uh, server computer that that cloud relay is installed on, and populate either the IP address or the name field uh, within the deep freeze policy itself uh, with the appropriate information. Once that information has been populated and the clients are updated with the modification within that policy, we'll start to see workstations or computers report in uh, and be visible under the deep freeze on demand section uh, within the deep freeze cloud interface.